you know, if you show up to the stores, like my wife got tied the other day, I went and picked it up for her and they like scooped it and put it in like, like this hot coconut, you know, curry in a plastic container. And so I recommend if you can, you know, keep a Pyrex container in your car. So if you go out to these places, literally bring your own glass Pyrex. Hey, can you please put it in this? They might, you know, they might better. comply. Yeah. Uh, I've done it before. I've done it with Thai a lot of times because it's so hot. So I'll just bring it, but like, Hey, can you please have the, the cooks put it in this place? That's awesome. That's I travel with my option. own, we travel with our own water bottles, you know, we'll bring stainless steel cups everywhere we go. So we're not drinking water. That's going to be contaminated with small amounts of pesticide and herbicide and pharmaceutical drugs. You can look up the environmental working group for people listening, type in EWG water report, and you can put in your zip code here in Kentucky, where I am, we have certain chemicals in the water hundreds of times higher than the safe levels that are all highly carcinogenic and endocrine disruptors. So this is not just we're being picky. No, the water in tap water, it, it's toxic. So you, you need to travel with filtered water and 100%. you're saving your gut. We know that parts per billion of glyphosate damages good bacteria, which creates bacterial overgrowth. So unfortunately, it has become more complicated to become healthy. Have you seen those memes? I'm sure you have of like, bunch of skinny people at the beach in the 1960s and then all the obese people in the 2020s at the beach and it's like what happened and yeah there was a lot less of that toxic exposure back then than now yeah it was also carbohydrates too i mean there was no trans fat back then if you look at carbohydrate kids if you look at like the macronutrients per decade proteins relatively flat you'll see fat drop and you'll see carb increase so really it's a lot more carbs and it's it was a real lot food. Less, a lot less good fat. So, of course, good, healthy, saturated fats. I mean, up until 1988, McDonald's had like beef tallow. Up until the, uh, I think it's the the, the CSPA, or whatever, one of these uh, vegan groups came in and wanted soybean oil, which was just disastrous. I mean, if you had reasonably non GMO free um, potatoes in some beef tallow, that's amazing. That's actually not even that bad. Um, but they changed it to soy in 88. And so you have a lot more processed vegetable oils, omega-6 that just really damaged, uh, they, that gets into your cell membrane and really toxifies your cell membrane. It takes years to come out. So make sure you're consuming really good, high quality animal saturated fats. And if you're doing, you know, mono and saturated to keep it to like avocado, keep it to high quality, cold press olive oil and try to get at least half your fats from high quality saturated fats. That's important. Yeah, the oils are man. We could do well, let's do let's do a whole like oil special, but in general, yep. yeah, the the seed Sounds oils good. and all that are no good. Well, guys, so, if yeah. you enjoyed today's podcast, please let us know. Put it in the notes. Put it in the description. Please give us a share with your friends or family. Also, give us a, a like and a thumbs up. That helps the search algorithm. And if you want to reach out to Evan, head over to evanbrand.com. There'll be a link where you can click and work with Evan. Head over to my site, justinhealth.com. I'm Dr. J. We'll put links down below. If you want to work with us, we are available worldwide. We work with a wide variety of patients from the young, from the old, females, men, etc. A lot of hormone issues, a lot of gut issues, a lot of toxicity issues. That's our specialty. We're here to help you out. And if you want to support us, we'll put links down below to different products that we recommend in regards to today's podcast.